It's currently 19 degrees Fahrenheit out there. Let's go see what that feels like. Checking out here. Stayed here for just one night in Ulu. And here we go, no turning back. The key is inside there. Boom, I am out in the cold. All right, so far, so good. Five seconds in, it's warmer than it was last night when it was down to about five Fahrenheit. So I have a train to catch in 45 minutes. I'm a little bit bummed actually that I don't have more time to explore Olu. So I don't have a glove on my uh, right hand right now. It's in my pocket and I am feeling the cold pretty hardcore. But for now, it's uh, fine. I am enjoying the uh, refreshing chilly air and excited to get deeper into Northern Finland, taking the train to Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland. About a two hour train ride and it's only gonna be getting colder from here. Today is November 5th and winter comes early in this part of the world. So the uh, train station is out there, but I wanted to take a route and see more of the town. I love the looks of these uh, trees all just encased in white. And starting to freeze over, but not quite yet. There's still some open water there. Some kind of government building, I guess. Kaupungetalo City Hall, okay. It's in English there. So I thought that I would talk about uh, cold weather and my experience with uh, various uh, winter weather places. Being a Californian, for people who might be wondering, what am I getting myself into? Does this even make any sense? Am I prepared for this kind of cold? Because it's going to get even colder. Then, uh, first of all, I'm from Northern California and where I was raised in the woods, outside of the little town of Willits, then it actually would snow during the winter sometimes. It wouldn't stick around for long, but uh, most winters it would snow once or twice at least. And then I went to university in Alaska. One year in Fairbanks, Alaska, the second year in Juneau, the capital, and I've experienced much colder than this. 40 below, 50 below was typical in the middle of the winter when the sun would rise around 10 in the morning and just kind of go across the horizon like this and then set at around three in the afternoon. And then I worked in Jasper National Park, Canada, because I was born in Canada. I think I'm going to, uh, Turn around here and start heading for the train station. So I worked in Jasper National Park in Alberta in the Canadian Rockies five different times. And the last time that I was there was from July of 2014 until November 30th. It was my last day of work and it got down to 30 below. So, uh, I've had plenty of experience with the cold. 
Rata Tasema. I guess that means train station. I had my ticket already. It was 29 euros, about $33. You can see up there, it's 12.05. So 20 minutes until the train, heading north into Lapland. I am ready for it. Roben Nemi. There is a uh, restaurant car here. And I'm upstairs again. Here we are, Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland, and it's nine degrees out there. Look at those beautiful blue skies. The sun is setting at 3 p.m. Rovaniemi. Some kind of smokestack going right there, making a lot of steam. In these kinds of temperatures, then the steam sticks around longer. In 40 below, if you take a uh, pan of boiling hot water and throw it in the air, it dissipates and never hits the ground. Hot boiling water, throw it in the air and it just evaporates car exhaust will go up into the air like tens of feet but that's a lot colder than what it is here this is only nine degrees so you're talking another 50 degrees colder the coldest I've been in is actually 50 below in Fairbanks Alaska all right now uh, got to find that hostel I need to check my phone I think it's within walking distance from here. Hoping so. So it's currently 2.47 p.m. It is a 13 minute walk and the hostel check-in begins at 3 p.m. So down to the minute. Great timing. The sun is almost down. And it's not even the shortest day of the year. Today is November 5th. They have six more weeks to go before the shortest day and the start of winter. And it's already like this, so. They have like eight months of winter around here. Man, it is insanely beautiful, all the white. 
slight right. So notice this car is plugged in. Green power cord plugged in right here. That is to keep the engine block from freezing up, the uh, coolant, I guess. They had the same thing in Alaska. So you can see the road signs there say Kemi, Virangangas, Lampella, Tavara, Asema. I've never heard of any of those. Turn left. Okay, left up here. All right, I am basically there. Your destination is on the right. Well, supposedly I'm there, but I don't see no hostel. Cool place, okay, nice so and oh, nice and warm, you. huh? Yes. Good to be here. So your name is Gabriel Morris. Gabriel. Okay, good. So then I found your reservation. Nice. All right. Okay, let me ask him. You are welcome to come inside. I will show you the place. Yeah. Okay. So you have a reservation for family room? I think then for the dormitory room, but I have to check him. So there's something strange in this hostel that I've never seen before in my life. Amazing uh, place here. And it looks like the uh, hostel dog. All right, so check this out. So far it seems normal, right? Look at this. There are two toilets in one bathroom. I don't know what's going on here, but I almost don't want to know the answer. All right, I'm going to get out there and go walk around while there's still a little bit of light left. All right, so I wanted to get out and see a little bit of the town before it gets dark there. Apparently the city center is just a three minute walk away, so... And I'm also getting hungry, so I'm going to find a restaurant and maybe get a beer and order some food, hang out. There's tons of time since it's only like 3.30 in the afternoon now, so it's gonna be a long evening. Lapi Tex Mex Restaurante Comica Food and Fun Looks like an awesome place. I'm sure they got beer. And I love my Mexican food. Amazing mural. And it looks like the edge of town is just right here. So, ooh, wow a uh, bridge there it is the lapland wilderness and that cold like how to describe it it just it's just like creeping in on me i feel like i have to actually make an effort of like breathing more and and uh moving my muscles you know my my hands are actually staying uh warm still but uh movement is crucial Moving around, moving the uh, hands so the blood circulation keeps on going because it is just like waiting to chill you to the core. Especially when I just don't have the top-notch equipment. The people around here probably just have two layers on, snow pants and then long underwear or jacket and a sweater or whatever, but it's good quality stuff and does a better job than my four layers of 
thin things. Wow, what a winter wonderland in early November. Looks like that river isn't actually frozen quite yet, but it's starting to, creeping in. What a beautiful scene. Looking forward to tomorrow. Exploring around. And getting into the forest or something. So I saw some stairs going down to the water, trying to find those. Let's uh, venture into the snow here. Here they are, in front of this restaurant, I guess, Valdemari. Let's uh, see if this ice is gonna hold me. Should I jump? Just kidding. But I am gonna check. Getting solid. What about out there? Yeah, it is. But you can pound through it and uh, see some water under there, so definitely would not step on that stuff. Do you want some good drink first? Yes, which drink? kind of beers? Uh... Uh, we have a Karamu, Finnish beer, we have also local beer, Blonde uh, Amber Lager, Karamu. Karamu? Karamu. Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay. I'm giving a mistake for setting the camera against the candle and so it no, <laughs> fell down. Comico freestyle menu. Welcome to exotic Lapland, the land of pandas. Okay, finish the Excellent. Yes, and ready to order? I'm gonna uh, work on the beer and then okay. I'll order some food in a little okay. bit. Yes. What is the uh, Wi Fi? Ah, uh, just a moment. Okay. Okay. Great. Comico, bar. One zero one. I see. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is this from uh, around here? Or? No. It's from Helsinki or? Mm, I think Turku. Mm. Turku. Oh, okay. Yes. I was there a few days ago. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right. Thanks a lot. It's good. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.